Hi, my name is Tim. I'm a PolySchool trainer with Polyglass. Today, I want to show you the proper way to flash a scupper using our self-adhered membranes. Today, we'll be using our Elastiflex SAV that you see in the orange box behind me and our Polyflex SAP granulated cap sheet in the red box. So you can see here, we've installed our Elastiflex SAV base flashing, extending it a minimum of one inch up past the can strip. And now we've brought our Elastiflex SAV wall flashing down onto the deck a minimum of four inches past the can strip. So in an effort to save time, we went ahead and installed the scupper, setting it in a bed of PG500 or PP50 modified roof cement. Uh, we then attached it a minimum four inches on center all the way around, and we primed it with our PG100 quick drying asphalt primer and let it dry to attack. So just like all other metal flashing details with self-adhered membrane, it must be sandwiched between two layers of the Elastiflex SAV. So now that we've let this dry to attack, we're gonna install our target patch that goes over the top of the scupper. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cut the patch a minimum of four inches larger than the scupper all the way around. Then, once you get your piece set where you want it, you can pull the release film. There's several different ways of doing that. You can pull it all at once and stick it in place, or you can score the top of it and uh, stick it in place and that'll hold it in place while you're uh, rolling it down in a wallpaper fashion. You wanna make sure you roll it down and put it in, push it tight into the angle changes to make sure you avoid any bridging. So we've installed our target patch and we've hand rolled it into place, making sure we added additional pressure into the angle changes to avoid bridging. Now we're gonna cut out the hole for the scupper, making sure we leave enough SAV to run at least a minimum of one inch down into the drain. I'm gonna find the corners of the scupper opening and I'm gonna make relief cuts from the top down to the bottom. And I'm gonna cut it across the top. That'll fall down into the scupper and we'll trim it back, making sure that we have an inch of SAV down into the scupper, but not extending past the primed edge. Once you have it all cut into place, hand roll everything. And then you will add a bead of PG500 asphalt roof cement to the leading edge. So the next thing we've done is brought our last course of granulated cap sheet up to the wall and extended it a minimum of one inch up past the cat strip. I'm gonna now pull the release film and show you how I've made the cuts at the scupper. I've put, put the flashing extending up the wall. Now you can see here, when I got to the scupper, I made a relief cut from the bottom of the scupper up to the top on both sides. And then I trimmed it out at the top and I've cut it here to make sure that we have enough membrane to extend into the scupper one inch past our Elastiflex SAV to get a good bite directly onto the primed metal. Once we pull all the film, we're gonna to wanna to continue to roll everything into place. Again, additional pressure to make sure that you're not getting any bridging anywhere and it gets a good adhesion. Now, once you have all your scupper flashing installed and rolled into place, you wanna add a bead of PG500 or PP50 to the leading edge. The bead of PG500 will help ensure water tightness. So now we're gonna to continue to hang this wall flashing to complete this detail. But before we do, there's a couple things you need to know. Anytime you're going over granule transition, you need to make sure that you had heat or adhesive at that over granule area. Um, in this case, we're gonna use a hot air welder. You'll also need to make a 45 degree cut to soften the transition at that side lap and then pull the release film and roll it in adding additional pressure to make sure it properly adheres. Now we're gonna go ahead and heat up this self-adhered compound uh, to help activate adhesion. You can see we're going as far back as the cant strip. We're gonna heat that up and roll it in. You're not necessarily looking for a bleed out. Um, you're just heating up the self-adhered compound. Now that we've made kind of an air dam back here at the back, we're gonna we're gonna really heat in this edge and roll it into place.
So you can see with this area, we decided to go with the adhesive. Um, here we used our modified adhesive, PG500. Uh, you could also use PP50 as well. We're gonna go ahead and pull this protective film to make sure our side lap properly adheres. Roll it down the wall and into our flashing cement. And then we're gonna roll everything, making sure to add additional pressure for good adhesion. We get out here onto the deck. We're gonna roll that as well. Again, adding a little extra pressure into that T-joint to make sure we got a good bond. Now we need to cut this out for the scupper. So I've already found the corners of the scupper. I'm gonna start at the top corner and go all the way across to the other corner and then make a relief cut down all the way to the flat section of the deck. I'm gonna do this on both sides. Now that we have this cut, we're gonna to need to be able to get heat or adhesive at this over granule area. So we're gonna cut this out at a 45 degree angle to be able to get the hot air welder in there. Make sure you use caution not to cut the cap sheet underneath. We always recommend using a hook blade. Now this is the over granule transition that I was telling you about. This can't stay like this. This either has to be treated with heat from a hot air welder or adhesive such as our PG500 or our PP50. With this application, we're gonna use the hot air welder. I'm gonna stick it in there and immediately start rolling it. You're not looking for smoke, you're not looking for a bleed out, you're just waking up that self-adhered compound. Do the same thing over here. Just adding enough heat to activate adhesion. Now this is our complete scupper detail flash. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via email at technical at polyglass.com. Thank you.